another day, another dollar. Good morning, friends. Good morning, future friends. It is day five of Vlogmas, and I'm about to head out on an errand or two before I come back and relax a little bit before work today. So, vlog today should look a little bit different. I'm not going to get a lot done that isn't work in the daytime. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how, how this goes and what my work days look like because they usually just go by in a blur. All right. So I think the plan for the short morning before work is to go for a little walk, potentially a bike ride. It's a beautiful day. I think the weather is going to be 23 degrees, which isn't that warm actually for here, but it's warm enough for me. <laughs> so we're going to do that and see how we get on. So I watch a lot of content on YouTube and other platforms. And one of the things that I've seen before is when people start a video and they say something along the lines of, I just filmed a whole thing and recorded none of it. <clears throat> so cheers to my first time doing that. All right, took a few deep breaths, have come back. I'm going to film, I'm checking, is filming, all good. Right, so I just wanted to take some time and tell you about what's going on in my life and the things that I'm excited about and the things that will be coming up in the vlogs. The first thing is that I think on work days, the vlogs might consist of, on a longer work day, the vlogs might consist of some more like um, sit down, chat videos, silly things or whatever, and less about things that I'm doing because I might not be doing a lot on those days besides working. And I would film that, you don't wanna see it, it's just hot and sweaty. So, and there's a lot of yelling. We are building a house and the house should be finished sort of April, I'm hoping for maybe March. I haven't been to see the house since it was only the, um, only the, the slab had been poured because I don't like to see those match bit matchbox buildings of like stick frames and stuff like that. For me, that is just, it's, it's, it kind of ruins the, um, the magic of the big house that you have now. Um, I don't even know how to explain that. It sounds silly, but I haven't gone to see it. I've seen a few pictures and I will go and see it in so the bricks are on site the plastering has started the windows are in lockup phase should be done in like before the end of the year so I, I think i'm going to go see the house next weekend another thing that's going to happen next week or in a week or so wait what's the date so like in a week and a half is we're going to go camping and oh, it's been since february we went camping with some friends from france here in australia they came to visit and we went camping back in february and we haven't been away since, obviously. It would be completely irresponsible even when we were allowed. But now that we're allowed again, we've booked it and we're gonna go with some friends and we're gonna go camping, take the kids, take the fam, and just go and enjoy some fresh air and, and some, you know, a change of scenery. We've all been in our houses for, for so long, for almost the whole year as, you know, everybody here that I'm talking to probably is the same. And I'm, it almost feels like a dream to be able to just go and, you know, chill out and, and, and camp. Just, yeah. So I will vlog, I will upload. I don't know how that works. I'm going to have to check out how to upload from my phone, but yeah, it should be no problem. And worst comes to worst, I will get the footage and then I'll just upload it when I get back if there's some problem with connectivity, but we're not going too far out of the city this time. So we're only going for a few days. Farther along in the future, so I will start streaming again. I was um, doing a bit of streaming before, but in this house and in this situation, it's just not, it's not very, there's just constant interruptions, basically. Uh, there, you know, there's a lot of people in, in our family and yeah, it's just, it's not, and it's not fair to ask everybody to be quiet or, or go away. So in the new house, I have dedicated space for that. So I'll be streaming and I'll be streaming games um, maybe just chatting. I don't know, but definitely game streaming. Like, yeah, that's true. So that should be fun. 
there'll be another channel coming, an educational channel at some point. I'm not sure exactly when I'll start that. That will be mainly science-based education, um, biology, microbiology, plant biology, you know, um, and probably more areas of science too, but those are just particular things I can think of right now. Probably, like, I'm pretty chaotic, so there'll probably just be a lot of different stuff that's science-based. It could be medical, it could be nature, it could be um, space, I love space. Um, okay. <laughs> like, I totally love space. <laughs> Anyways, like, astronomy, you know, all this kind of stuff. So physics, and, and I'm terrible at physics, but I learn stuff about physics and then it's not that I know anything about it, but I learn about concepts and, and that they blow my mind. And I, I just, you know, I get really excited about that. Um, and part of the reason I get really excited about them is because I don't really understand them. So yeah, anyways, there will be a dog. So when we move into the new house, we will have the space and the, the, just the breathing room to have a dog. And, and we've always had a dog. We have two cats now. We've always had a dog, uh, but we don't now. And we didn't when we lived in the Middle East because that wouldn't have been fair to the dog. Just the whole situation, the attitudes towards pets there, well, dogs mostly, but all pets really. Um, well, in, in Qatar where we lived, I, I can't speak for other countries. So in Qatar, it's, it's not that they're very kind people, but the attitude towards dogs is not the best a lot of people just don't like them. They don't understand why you'd want to have them. The heat is intolerable for the poor things, especially if they weren't born there, they're, they're not accustomed to it. And also we weren't going to be settled there forever, just a few years. So yeah, so we didn't get a dog. And that means that some of the younger kids have kind of grown up without a dog. And I just think a dog can be, if you like dogs, if that's your thing, it's definitely my thing. I think it can be, you know, just, an amazing addition to a family just this special sort of being in your house and in your life that has a different relationship with everyone in the house and yeah okay I'm, I'm waffling now about that but that's I really yeah, I miss having a dog the cats are going to hate it the cats are going to be like they're probably gonna try and leave home they're probably gonna pack their little cat suitcases with their little toys and you know I'm not gonna say 100% for sure I have never bought a dog. I've never bought a purebred dog. I have always rescued. I used to work in rescue. I am a firm believer in adopt, don't shop. However, in this situation, I don't want to say that I'm definitely not going to buy a dog. I can tell you that if I did, it would be from a well-researched, responsible breeder. And there's a little like person in the back of my head going there's no such thing as a responsible breeder there's so many dogs and pets and animals and stuff breeding is just irresponsible altogether I also know that to not be true you know that that falls into the same thing as the zoo argument where we talk about zoos are cruel and and zoos serve an actual purpose that's definitely something I'll be talking about on that on a different channel um and not all zoos are good and there's probably problems in every zoo but there's problems in everything in life I digress <laughs> I do that a lot Here's the thing. I don't want to say that I will not be buying a dog because that that's, I don't want to, I don't want to like, I don't want to set up false expectations, but I will say that I 99.9% .9 expect to be rescuing a dog. The only thing for me is that it's important that we have a dog that is cat safe, that is kid safe, you know, within the realms of animals are animals. And when people say an animal is bomb proof and they, the intention behind saying that is that nothing, no, this dog will never do anything that is harmful. I kind of cringe because I, we, I mean, we, we know that animals are animals and dynamic situations, you know, there's so much involved in, in every situation and every individual, yeah, I mean, dogs have teeth, dogs can bite. Dogs have feelings and moods and and and, and stuff can happen. Anyways, wow, that, that's a big long off. Let's get back on track. I don't know whether it'll be a puppy or a dog. I love puppies, they are so cute, but I also like well-behaved, well-trained 
animals and I also like not having new carpets ripped up and chewed on and peed on. So we'll see, it might be, might not be a puppy. So adopt, don't shop, definitely. Save a life, give a home to an animal. It's, yeah, it's the best thing. I just talked for like 10 minutes and I took like two sips of my coffee. And if I do not get this glorious juice into me, I'm not gonna make it through work. So better do that. Now the delivery came in, very excited. Gonna have to do some more online shopping if all my deliveries keep coming in like this. Pretty sure these are order boxes for the phones. So yeah, I guess I'll show you later. I gotta get ready for work. When you're running late for work, but you still need to make coffee just in case the coffee machine's broken or being cleaned when you get there. Time to go in, do some work and yeah, the restrictions are like 80% ease now with regards to people sitting and eating in, with regards to masks in the staff areas and stuff like that. So on the up and up and up and my thoughts go out to everybody who's not in that situation and I really hope that you guys get there soon. We had some really, really tough times here for months in Melbourne. So we know what you're going through. Well, not with the numbers and not with the illness, but with the restrictions anyhow. And tough it out, it's worth it. Stay safe. So it was a short shift at work and it was good. People were mostly nice. I don't think a lot of people know that we're, we're open and serving and people can sit now, so yeah. But it's, uh, it's good. And my coworkers and I are all back and it's, it's nice. Every single night they yell and holler at her. She has no chance. Hello guys. Let's see if we zoom. Hi. How you doing? Why are you doing? Why are you shouting every night? Hmm? They're my little friends. They're kind of brutal. I don't really know what to think of all this return to normal, except that I hope it stays. Um, I hope everybody does the right thing so that we can continue to whoop, have a normal existence. Oh, what a beautiful evening. So nice. So it's the end of Vlogmas Day 5 here on Wubble Vlog and I just want to thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe or like or leave a comment, ask a question, leave a suggestion and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.